In this step, I want you to make the arrow key change directions by going to the named labels on all of your keys. Let's take a look at how I have it programmed. I'm using a switch case statement, which work on numbers or single characters, and we're changing on key code. As I showed you when I searched by testing it with the last code, the up arrow is case 38 and W is a case 87. So what we're going to do is if either W or the up arrow is pressed, we're going to go to and stop on the up frame of our movie clip. If we push the right arrow, it'll go to the right. Now remember with a case statement, you need to have a break statement so it doesn't just continue going through here. So the code that you add this time is we've gotten rid of the trace statement. You should have written down all the codes that you need. And we're moving through and we will just change the, the direction of the arrow. I want you to go through and do all of them so it'll go up, down, left, and right on the WASD keys as well as the arrow keys. You should be able to follow this pattern. And let me show you what will happen when we test it. Now I've only done the right arrow key and the W and the up key. So this is what happens when I push the right key. If I push it again, nothing else happens because it's already facing that way. But I can go back and forth using my arrow keys. You should be able to change the arrow through all directions. And then we'll come back and finish the program.